Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So I'm in a serious amount of pain right now. For some reason, I think uh, two scorpions got me in the foot at the same time. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep because from you can't see anything, obviously, but from my like knee down on my left leg, all the way down to the very tip of my toe, is throbbing pretty tremendously um, and it feels like a good bolt of electricity is just running through my leg and I can barely actually walk so I have to get this video because um, obviously this is my life you guys are my life and it's important to me I just want to let you know if I'm not as spunky <laughs> as normal I apologize um, but my leg is really, really killing me. I actually just, I'm pretty against taking painkillers and stuff like that, but I just took one because, wow, I was surprised. Um, it was actually a pretty painful thing. And I think they both got me at the same time. There was two when I moved my foot and I stepped on them for a while. So I think they kind of unloaded on me. I was in the middle of the night grabbing something to drink and um, yeah. So that being said, not to chat too much about that, uh, today's day 21. So you should be making your meal change today. I hope you guys all got your foods yesterday for the meal change. If you didn't, please get them before today starts. If you're doing something else, that's fine, but just keep me posted on what you're doing and uh, kind of what works for you. The next thing uh, that I wanted to cover, I have one, two, three things that I want to cover and kind of like a final thought. So the first thing is don't make this about purchases, make this about action. And what I mean by that is I'm pretty famous for, I love buying fitness equipment and I love buying uh, stuff oriented with staying active and different things or whatever. I could literally spend 10 hours in the fitness department at Walmart and if I had the money I'd buy probably everything and probably use it all um, uh, but a lot of people and I'm not saying this to say that I'm better than anybody else or whatever but like I could name five or six people um, in my own personal life that I know on a regular basis buy fitness equipment and actually never ever 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 use it so make this about change, make this about a plan, make this about action, don't make it about purchasing things. If you're that type of person that is motivated by buying cool stuff or whatever, then show yourself some results, then reward yourself later. So work real hard, lose 10 pounds, buy a new workout outfit, that's perfectly fine. But work on the action more so than random purchases and Train yourself to get a reward when you've achieved a goal. Not just randomly going out buying all this fitness stuff because then not only are you out of shape and overweight and having problems with your health and stuff, but now you're having financial problems on top of it. It's just a bad idea, guys. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> I've, I've done it. And uh, I, that's why I mention these things because this is my journey, this is your journey, we're on this together. It's not like yours is going to be any different, it's just I'm sharing what's happened to me, what I've experienced, what I've experienced with other people. So please keep that in mind guys. Uh, reward yourself only when you achieve goals. The next thing is, excuse me, take a step in the direction of your goals each and every day. And you're probably like, well, what does that mean? Okay, so the night before, there's a book I'm reading called No Excuses, and I fully recommend it. Um, there's a book, the, the book is called No Excuses. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like one o'clock in the morning, I've got like no sleep whatsoever. Um, but it, what a better time to make a video, honestly, because then it'll be out quicker. So the book tells you if you're going to take a step in the right direction each and every day, a lot of that action, that directional, that forward directional movement happens the day before. So the day before um, your following day comes up, start writing out a plan. 
write out a plan that says, hey, I'm going to I'm going to work on, you know, watching Jonathan's videos and I'm going to learn about ketosis or I'm going to do this or I'm going to I'm going to, um, you know, walk 30 minutes tomorrow. Each and every day, take a step in the direction of your goal. So if your goal is to lose 20 pounds, okay, so you wake up and you say, all right, today I'm going to take a step in the direction of that goal. I'm going to go run bleachers. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So you can't just say, I got a goal to lose 20 pounds and I'm going to lose it. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to take a step in that direction each and every single day, guys. Uh, the next thing is spend 15 minutes each day planning ways to achieve goals and expanding your knowledge in the direction of your dream. So, along with the second one, I want you to spend 15 minutes each day planning ways which you can use to feed the knowledge that are going to feed your dream. So, if I wake up today... Let me show you something real quick. And I try so hard to get reading in. Um, yesterday I was reading a little bit while I was eating. Um, if I wake up today, and this is the book called The All New Atkins Advantage. I believe Martha sent me this. I lost the cover, but I took it with me to Europe. Yes, Martha, I took this the entire month. Um, I carried it around and it was a heavy ass book. <laughs> Um, but read it as I got a chance and stuff like that. So, um, oh my gosh, my leg just won't stop throbbing. Um, those little suckers are strong. Those little scorpions. How the heck are they so damn strong? Um, if anybody knows how to make that throbbing stop, message it. Tell me how to stop that throbbing because it's driving me freaking bonkers. Oh lordy. So spend 15 minutes each day. So if it's whether it's reading a book or it's um, you know watching videos or going on YouTube or whatever it is, spend 15 minutes working on expanding knowledge. Go to the library. Go talk to a fitness trainer. Talk to myself. Message myself for a few minutes each day. Whatever it is, at least 15 minutes. You would be so surprised what you can learn in 15 minutes. In 15 minutes I can read five pages of amazing literature to be able to get me closer to my goal. And with anything in life, I don't care if it's weight loss or if it's um, trying to improve your skills at work or whatever it is, if you spend 15 minutes each and every day, now I recommend a full hour, but let's be realistic. Not everybody can do an hour and that's perfectly fine because you got your fitness going, you got your weight loss, you got your meal prep, you got the kids, you got everything. You got your husbands, your wives, whatever. Um, make sure you have that 15 minutes each and every day. And I promise you, if you designate that time each and every day, you're going to be so much more happy and so much more fulfilled and so much closer to achieving your goal. The next thing is obviously meal change starts today. I said that in the beginning. I'm going to say it again. The final thing that I wanted to say is don't blame your past. Be thankful of it because it's given you a reason to fight because you know what you don't want. What I mean by that is we all have a past, okay? Um, there's a lot of things. I'm not going to go into my whole past. You know I can't um, necessarily say everything because... Um, the people that watch my channel, including my, <laughs> um, but there's definitely um, things that each and every one of us go through, um, and there's uh, mental abuse, sexual abuse, physical abuse. Um, there's a lot of those things that are very prevalent in weight gain. Um, there's depression, anxiety. There's poor childhoods. There's um, lack of affection when you're growing up. Lack of love or um, just a s absolute slew of different things that people have gone through. And um, whether it's loss of a family member or loss of a loved one, a mother or father, uh, abandonment issues or whatever it is, 
I understand, and those are a very real reality, and they make up the character and the person, the amazing person that you are today. That being said, you need to know that you can't blame your past. If you don't let go of the past, you can never grow in the future. It's important to know what your past was and work towards a more amazing future. If you had physical abuse in the past, whether it was in a relationship, you know, say, say you were in a relationship with a guy that beat you up and you didn't like it. Well, you let go of that and then you realize in the future when you get with somebody, if they ever, ever show even a speck of anger, you're gone. Why? It's because you know what you don't want, because you know what the pain felt like to feel that in your life. And now, just like weight loss or whatever, you need to realize that, hey, the past is the past. I understand. I, I grew from that. Now I'm willing to change and I want something different and I know what I don't want and I know what it's going to take to get what I want because of the two or three previous things. I'm working on my knowledge every day. I'm pulling in a direction of, of my dreams each and every morning or each and every night. So a lot of those things are just like a domino effect. Once you work on one, then the next one, then the next one. So just remember that, yes, we all have a past. Some people have a great past. Um, some people could, it could be you were overloved. You were given everything. You were given food. You were given money, and and you didn't care. And and a lot of the times that can be worse. Um, and then you know somebody that had um, to deal with a lot of pain because then you never learn how to cope with anything. You just are fed amazing things all the time, and that can be very difficult also. So just because you didn't have a rough a rough childhood doesn't mean that you didn't experience pain and I understand that and that's perfectly fine but at least you know what you don't want you know you want to experience some hardship and stuff like that and and that can be very real um, uh, hardship a lot of the times can get us much more prepared for our futures um, than uh, you know just an easy cruising life you guys my battery's dying. <laughs> I wish you guys the most amazing day. Keep up the good work. It's day 21. If you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Keep up the good work. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. And as always, remember to spread love, not hate. Peace, guys. Love you. Have a beautiful day. Send me remedies for my freaky leg. <laughs>